card number 28 the mob the mob let's check out the mob the mob Rossellini Trefacanti Giancana Giancana the mob look at those faces look at the sunglasses Oop. CIA Mafia Plots. Let's check it out. Let's see if the text is the same. So in the last month, yeah, mob. Okay, so there's a paragraph break. We're looking for, what are we looking for? The Kennedy brothers mob members. Da, 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 da. Hmm. I don't see that. Looks like these end differently, gang. Yeah, looks like this was reworded. The revised edition looks to be majorly reworded relative to the original edition, right? So we're going to read the revised edition, gang. Let's read the revised edition. Let's read the revised edition. The mob. There's going to be a lot of names in this that I'm not going to be able to pronounce. Card number 28, CIA Mafia Plots. In the last month of the Eisenhower administration, secret meetings uh, mediated by ex-FBI agent and Howard Hughes aide Robert M Mahu were held between uh, CIA agents and mafia figures for the purpose of plotting to kill Fidel Castro. In 1960, the Cuban leader had nationalized U.S. corporation corporate interests, closed casinos, shut down drug labs, and deported mob members. The Kennedy brothers did not know about the CIA Mafia anti-Castro plots until 1962 when Robert Kennedy found the CIA interfering in Justice Department prosecution of the first mobster contacted, uh, contacted by Mahu. Chicago boss Sam Gian, Giancana participation in CIA Mafia plots wasn't uh, Giancana's only protection against prosecution. His girlfriend, Judith Campbell, and President Kennedy had been lovers for two years. In 1963, the Justice Department ordered the FBI to curtail surveillance of Giancana. Judith Campbell, wow, who's that? The gangster with the most to gain from the elimination of Castro was Santos Trafacante Tra Jr., former uh, mafia boss of Havana, who with his partner, casino developer and mob financial wizard, Meyer Lansky, had inherited Lucky Luciano's international heroin operation. Trafacante financed terrorist raids in against Cuba run by CIA agent Frank Sturgis, Sturgis's Miami-based International Anti-Communist Brigade. In 1962, Trafacante told Cuban exile and FBI informant Jose Alman, quote, Kennedy is, a, is in trouble and he will get what, he, what is coming to him. Kennedy is not going to make it to the election. He's going to be hit, end quote. West Coast mobster, Johnny Rossellini, another CIA mafia plotter, later alleged Castro was warned of plans to kill him by a double agent, possibly Trafacante, 
and that Castro, assuming the plots were official U.S. policy, killed Kennedy in retaliation. Wow. That part we know is not true. Right? And who was claiming this? West Coast mobster. Another CIA mobster. Later, alleged. yeah, West Coast mobster alleged. Crazy, crazy. The mob. The mob the mob which is really CIA mafia right CIA mafia cool card number 28 